Hey, it's Mr. Wilson. Today we're going to talk about how to create your shot frames for your 8-shot animatic in Google Slides. So the first thing we're going to have to do, obviously, is create a Google Slides. So we go to New, we go to Google Slides. We're also going to make sure we title it. So 8 shots with your name. We're going to get rid of those things. We're going to create a few duplicate slides. Then we're going to go to Scribble. And with Scribble, we can draw freehand. So our freehand extreme close-up will look something like this. The face will fill the frame. We'll draw the nose, mouth, eyes. And for an extreme close-up, we should know that usually that ex is extreme emotion. So this person is going to look a little bit surprised. Our next shot is going to be a close-up. So again, we're going to scribble the head and a little bit of shoulders, just a little bit of shoulders for the close-up. Eyes, nose, mouth, and that is our close-up. Just a little bit of the head and the shoulders. Now, one of the things is for our pupils, I'm going to actually create a shape. And then I'm going to fill it in with black, and then I can just copy and paste it, and then I have my pupils. So that's one way you can do the pupils, as well as just doing a scribble. The next drawing is my medium close-up, which is a little bit of neck and shoulder. And to make sure it's a medium close-up, a little bit of armpit. Always have a little bit of armpit for your medium close-up. Then we draw our eyes, our mouth, our nose, and that will be our medium close-up. The next frame is going to be our medium shot. which is mid-belly. So we're going to have more than just armpit. We're going to have a little bit of the arms um, showing more than just the armpit. Eyes, nose, mouth, pupils. Again, you can do shapes. We can also draw hair. And then if we want to, we can make the lines a little thicker. This is going to be our waist shot. You can scribble again, go to scribble. And for our waist shot, we're going to have a lot of the arm. And this is a waist shot. The waist should be right underneath there. Again, eyes, nose, mouth. And again, I'm going to give this person some hair. You don't have to. For this one, I'm going to actually change it. I'm going to give it a green background so that if I want to, I can green screen it. Now you don't have to do the green screen with shapes for this one, but I'm going to. So I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to fill that in with a skin tone. I can give it any kind of skin tone I want. I'm just going to kind of go to a neutral tan. And I create this body with shapes. So there's my torso shape. I'm going to fill it in with yellow, like he's got a yellow shirt. I'm going to give him a neck too to connect the neck and the head. I'm going to give him some arms with just some basic regular rectangles. Fill those in with the yellow. I can position the arm however I want. Then I'm going to copy and paste to give him the other arm. Make sure it's the same size, etc. Copy and paste for two things is always good. I'm going to go to the shape again for the lower half. I'm just going to give him a little bit of waist. Fill it in with the brown, so he's wearing brown pants. Again, I'm going to give him some rectangles for legs. Fill that in with the same brown. Copy, paste, put it over there. Then I'm going to give him eyes with the shape again. I can leave those just white. And I'm going to give him some nose and mouth. With that, I'll just use the scribble again. I'm going to be giving him hair. I can also make the hair a different color, so I'll give him all sorts of different color hair. I'll just stick with brown. I'm going to give him some hands, just some circles. You can get more detailed if you want, but definitely have hands. Don't have to have fingers. So again, for the full length shot, I'm just going to be creating with shapes. You don't have to do the green screen background for the knee shot. However, I do want you to do that for your full length shot and the reason why is because we can use the full length shot for the full length shot and the long shot and i'll be showing you how to do that in the next tutorial which is how to 
import your shots into we video and edit them same looking guy just a little bit further away rectangles for arms position them however you want copy and paste so it's basically the same thing except it's a little bit further away so everything's going to be a little bit smaller and i'm going to make sure that it's full length meaning the heads at the very top and the feet are at the very bottom you are going to have to have feet so i just made again rectangles copy and paste made them a little bit gray tilted a little bit and again you'll use this for your full length shot and your long shot so you don't have to draw your long shot in your google slides the next one is a medium close-up profile again you can do this with shapes with the green screen background for any of your shots if you want um, but i'm going back to scribble but it's really important we have the head at the very top the bottom of the screen should be right below the chest so we do have those armpits and then of course we have good nose room so we're going to put all the facial features to the side the eyes the nose the mouth the pupils should be looking to the side as well This guy some hair and make him a uh, ginger then our last shot will be our insert shot and you don't have to do a piece of paper but that's a common one you can do any sort of object you don't have to have someone holding it either but just a close-up of an object is all you need to do so I'm actually going to make this a paper with an F minus on it I'm going to make the F minus and the circle thick and red so there's my insert shot once you have all those done then you're going to make jpegs out of them and put them into WeVideo video and edit them and i'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial